Okay, so my name is uh, Pele Gorev. Uh, I worked here as a bartender at the Nova Festival. Uh, and around uh, six o'clock in the morning, they were starting to. We didn't even hear the alarms, you know, because of the music. So a very uh, loud music. Uh, we just saw the the missiles go in the air. I saw the rockets, and you know, at the time we didn't know that there are terrorists that were breaching inside of Israel. We were just, uh, you know, waiting for the the rockets to stop in order for us to evacuate because. The worst thing, the worst thing to do when there are rockets in the air is to to go by your car because if a rocket falls on it, then you are practically dead. So uh, we waited and we waited and we waited until uh, a few friends of mine got a report that uh, terrorists breached the, the area, and then you heard gunshots. Not yet. Uh, this time we, the, it was still a bit, you know. Maybe there were gunshots, but I didn't hear them. There was only the reports there, and then uh, we just decided to, to go away. It was around 7.30. I understood that a few minutes afterwards they got to, to this area where they shot people indiscriminately, uh, just because they are Jewish, as you can see. And what did you do? What did you do? What I did, I uh, took my car and I got to the road. Luckily, most of the people got through this road and then took here left. Uh, my navigation app took me through a different road that crossed the area. So I uh, managed to cut all of the vehicles that were, was, that were on this road, around hundreds of cars and got, got uh, here to the main road where the police was blocking the road from each uh, side because then we already knew that the uh, terrorists were looking at each uh, direction. So the police uh, guided us to go through the fields, but, uh, through the farming land east of here in order to, to get away. Uh, we tried to get to a different main road, the uh, 234 road, that is uh, you know, that w where we came from. But the uh, tourists were looking there as well, so we tried to get back to the, to the, to the fields and then we started to hear the gunshots from here. Uh, and the bombings and especially the gunshots, uh, it was very, very close. You can hear it from uh, 300, 400 meters. Uh, then we, we left our car, we just went inside uh, of some bushes, you know, waiting to be rescued. Uh, we were around a few hours. Uh, this uh, was this was sounding very much like a gunshot. So we were uh, in the bushes for around 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, all of this time, there were bombings in the air, and you can hear the gunshots and people screaming until we we heard a little bit of Hebrew at the area. Uh, when we heard the Hebrew, we decided to go out in order to understand what's happening. And the person we spoke to told us that the terrorists are here at the party area and they're shooting indiscriminately at everybody. Uh, you can even see here cars with baby seats. Uh, when you were like, so you, you, you were back there, right? When this exactly. happened. So you, you escaped, you went through the desert exactly. and you hide in the bush. Exactly. Because police was on the right and the left. Exactly. And, all right. They blocked us. And then uh, after we had the, the, the receiver and spoke to the person, then uh, he told, we asked him what we're doing, what, what, what we can do. And, you know, no police is near you, no army, you're alone, you, you have nothing to defend yourself. Uh, you know the terrorists will just kill you the moment they see you, they won't even hesitate.